Hello everybody. In this video, you are going to learn how to compare parts to wholes using ratios, fractions, decimals, and percents. First, let's note that these are all four different ways of doing the same thing. A ratio, the first number is the part. In a fraction, the numerator is the part. In a decimal, the number after the decimal point is the part, or the number as a whole is the part, and one is the whole. And then in a percentage, the percent is our part, and 100 is the whole. The symbol that we use in a ratio is a colon. As a fraction, we use a fraction bar. As a decimal, we use a decimal point, and in a percentage, we use a percentage sign. Finally, the whole is going to be in a ratio, it's the second number. In a fraction, it will be the denominator. In a decimal, it will always be one. And then in a percentage, it will be 100%. Let's first look at a ratio comparing dogs to animals. Let's pretend like there were 12 dogs and 100 total animals. So in this case, we have our grid showing 12 blue dogs and 100 total. Again, we would set this up and we have 12 and 100. That's my ratio. This could simplify by dividing and we could have 6 over 50 and then 3 over 25. That's by simplifying our fraction or our ratio. The same thing can happen with a percent. This is a percent of 12 per cent. And the word cent, if you speak Spanish, is the word ciente, or in French, it's cent, and that means out of 100. So cent means 100. This is why there are 100 cents in a dollar. And so we have 12 per cent, which means there's 12 blue shaded spaces out of 100 total. If we wrote it as a fraction, we would write 12 blue shaded spaces out of 100 total. And we could simplify this fraction and say that if we divide by 4, 12 divided by 4 is 3, and 100 divided by 4 is 25. So that would be the same equivalent fraction, same size, taking up the same space, but it's just using different numbers to say the same thing. The fourth way is to write a decimal. And the way that we would write this is it's 12 out of 100. And so we're gonna put 12, and notice we have the tens place, that's here, and then the hundreds place, which is where the two is. So this is 12 hundreds, hundredths, because it's in the hundredths place. So we see our comparison. The ratio is 12 out of 100. The fraction is 12 fraction bar, 100. The decimal is 0 0.12 or 12 hundredths. And the percentage is 12%. The ratio and the fraction can be simplified, but at the foundation, it is the same. Let's look at this ratio. The first way we need to write this as a ratio comparing dogs to the total animals. And so we, here we have one, two, three, four, five, six dogs compared to 10 total animals. So I can write this as six dogs, and that is as a ratio out of 10 total animals. If I were then to write the next one, this would be as a fraction, and I could write this as six dogs out of 10 total animals. If I were to write this as a decimal, I need to do a little bit of math. 
As a fraction, we said this was six dogs out of 10 total animals. And remember, the decimal is going to be in the hundredths place. So if I'm going to the hundredths place, this would be 10 times 10 is 100. So I do 6 times 10 because my arrows are going the same direction. And I get 60, which means that my decimal is 0 0.60. Now, I don't actually have to put this zero because this is in the tenths place. And so that's fine. This is my decimal here. And we could write that as 0 0.6. Finally, I write my percent. And we noted earlier that the decimal version was 0 0.6. And we took our fraction out of 100. So we said that was 6 over 10. And we got that to be 60 over 100. We said these were the same size, just the pieces are different. And so this can be written as 60%. And so we have our comparison, 6 compared to 10, 6 tenths as a fraction, six tenths as a decimal, or we could say 60 hundredths as a decimal, and 60%. These are all equivalent, which means they're basically the same. In this video, we learned how to compare fractions, ratios, decimals, and percentages.